All right, today I'm going to do a little video on this waffle maker I bought. It's about thirty, forty dollars. These are um, it's cast aluminum. The handles are uh, some kind of plastic. They don't get hot, really. Uh, it's it's a Belgian waffle maker by Nordicware, and right now I'm just preheating it. it takes about two minutes to preheat it. And I've been spraying it with uh, Vigiline cooking oil when, when I'm using it. Um, other than that, it doesn't, haven't had really any issues with sticking. So once this preheats, I'll start making some waffles. Uh, I'm just using some. Uh, this is actually this quick mix, and I mixed in some uh, uh, pumpkin butter to it, and uh, also a thing of uh, chocolate chip uh, muffin mix. So we'll see how it turns out. I used the pancake recipe this time. On the this quick box, so we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so it's preheated now. And uh, just run it, put it on the burners on high goes together like that real easy simple hinge there but it works well um, now the instructions it comes with says a cup of batter I have found that that is not enough to fill it out I use a cup and a half so a three-quarter cup measure twice and like I said I'm going to spray this And they recommend uh, buttering it or spraying it. Um, it does have a non-stick coating, but still. And then it's about two minutes a side, two to three minutes per side. I'm going to try three this time to get it a little bit more uh, uh, crispy on the outside. last time they were a bit soft. Part of that has to do with your batter mix. So I have no idea how these are going to turn out since this is a kind of a yeah throw together mix of stuff I wanted to <laughs> use up. So we'll see. So anyhow I got a cup and a half in there. I just shut it. Oh yeah, one thing I did found, find, um, I take a rubber band and go around the handle here, because otherwise as the batter heats up and, expand, and the, the bread expands, it'll open up, so this way it keeps it closed, that way you get more uniform waffles. Oh yeah, set my timer before I forget. I'll do two minutes on that side because it's already been going for like 30 seconds. So, and the next side I'm going to do three minutes. Okay, so we just did approximately three minutes on that first side. We just simply flip it over, and as you can see, no gloves here. The handles stay cool or warm, anyhow. They don't get hot. I'll put do another three minutes on this side. Alright, so here we go, that's three minutes on both sides. Okay, and might have overdone it a little bit. 
nice where they come apart like this so easily because then you can just take it, flip it right onto your plate very easily. Actually turned out pretty darn well. You know, it's got a nice crispy outside, soft inside I can feel. It's actually pretty darn nice. The other side got a little bit overdone. Not too bad though. Just have to adjust the times slightly. So yeah, it does an awesome job. I'm really happy with this unit. Way better than any of the plug-in models, that's for sure. See, it left just that tiny little bit there. I'm going to get something to grab that out. Or it'll just go in the next one. But Yeah, very happy.